Hello YouTubers and fellow Whovians and once again welcome to another Doctor Who DVD review. This time it's of Kama 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 Chameleon Tales. Yeah, I'm sorry, I had to do that. It was an opportunity just waiting for the taking there. Anyway, this box set comprises of two stories from the Fifth Doctor era and they have Chameleon in them who was a sort of shitty replacement for K-9, so appropriately, they made a box set, because he only appeared in two stories, three if you count his cameo at the end of The Caves of Androzani, and it makes sense that they did make this box set, to be honest with you. Uh, front cover, we've got Chameleon in the middle, and we've got the Fifth Doctor and the Master either side of him. In the background, you can see the TARDIS roundels, and you've got some sort of a vortex thing going on. I don't know. It looks like Chameleon's walking away from some shitty explosion that's just happened. I don't know. I guess it's just a design they went for with this box set, really. But overall, it's a pretty nice front cover. There it just says Chameleon Tales, and at the bottom it gives you details on what's included in this set. So we have two stories, The King's Demons, and Planet of Fire, and we also have Planet of Fire Special Edition. The description for this reads, The Fifth Doctor and the Master do battle over a shape-shifting android in these two classic 1980s adventures. This is a three-disc set because the Planet of Fire release has two discs, and the second disc contains the special edition of that as well. Uh, this is a PG. And if we just take a look at the side very quickly, gives you more details on what's included, so that's quite good, and it gives you the same picture there. And the back of it is pretty much the same. That is the top, so it just says Doctor Who, Chameleon Tales, and you can see the roundels. Much more prominent on this uh, box set as well, you can see a lot more of it, because there's quite a few you can't really see the roundels, because uh, I don't know the design of the box set and all of that. A lot of them were black, or some shade of black anyway. But overall, nice uh, nice cover to the box set. Let's take a look at the stories that are inside this though. Starting off with the final story of season 20, which was The King's Demons. Now overall, I've got to say, I really like this front cover. It's got the Fifth Doctor and the Master either side once again. We've got King John, we've got Chameleon, and we've got this coat of arms here, and I really like this, it's a minor detail, but I just really like it. And you've got a castle there in the background, and I just like all the rays of light coming out of it. And you may just be able to see, but there is writing in the clouds there. And that's part of the Magna Carta, which plays a critical role in this story. The release for this is also a U. Uh, the other story is a PG. Uh, there's a side, so it's just all black and plain, much like a lot of Peter Davison's stories on DVD. Uh, this is written by uh, Terence Dudley. England, March 1215. King John is visiting the castle of Sir Ranulph Fitzwilliam. The arrival of the TARDIS disturbs a medieval joust, but the Doctor and his companions are proclaimed to be friendly demons by the King, who seems strangely interested in the Blue Engine. It soon becomes clear that neither King John or his champion, Sir Giles Estrem, are who they pretend to be. One of the Doctor's oldest and deadliest enemies threatens the future of democracy on Earth, and he must be stopped. Special features include commentary by Peter Davison as Le Bleu and script editor Eric Saywood. Bonus commentary by director Tony Fergo for part one only. Chameleon Metal Man, a short history of the Doctor's robotic companion with Peter Davison, Nicola Bryant, Eric Saywood and co-curator Chris Padmore. Magna Carta. Investigating the Magna Carta and its relevance through history to our lives today. We have isolated score, radio times billings, production information subtitles, a photo gallery, a coming soon trailer, and a digitally remastered picture and sound quality. This story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 15th and 16th of March 1983. It was broadcast over two days because it's just a two-parter. 
produced by John Nathan Turner, directed by Tony Virgo, sleeve text by Sue Corley, and cover by Clayton Hickman, and the runtime is 50 minutes, as this is only two 25 minute episodes. There you have the leaflet, it has the same image as the front cover, and there is the disc, which also coincidentally has the same image as the front cover. And as I said earlier, front cover, I'll say it again, very nice, I quite like the front cover. It's it's really appealing to me because I'm really into history. I did a history degree after all. Uh, my thoughts on the DVD. I really do like the special features. I think that the uh, special feature on the Magna Carta is really uh, fascinating to uh, learn about. And I'd say that the special feature on Chameleon, his whole character creation and all of that, I think that's uh, quite an interesting watch as well. So overall, special features are pretty decent. As for the story itself, it's a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like this story. Uh, Chameleon, as a character, is just awful. It's probably just as bad as K9. I mean, I know I've shit a lot on K9 in a lot of my videos, but... At least I can understand the appeal behind K9 and why he is so iconic. Chameleon is just so far away from that. It's just shit, right? And this story is also very bad. It feels like a filler. This was the finale for season 20 and it's such a pathetic way to go out. And the ending is one of the worst endings of a Doctor Who story. And what makes it worse is Enlightenment preceded that. Now, I know few people might like Enlightenment, but the ending of that story I thought was pretty bad. But this might just be worse. And this came straight after Enlightenment as well. And it's a two-parter as well. So really, you'd think that as a two-parter, this wouldn't be that bad. But overall... It is. It's one of the worst stories from the 1980s, and it just goes to show. It's so forgettable, and it's even got the master in it. It's one of the worst master stories, hands down. Do I think it is the worst? Well, it's not as bad as Time Flight, that's for damn sure. But anyway, The King's Demons, very disappointing. Uh, Chameleon, Coming on board the TARDIS at the end, it's some of the biggest bullshit you'll ever see in a Doctor Who story. But anyway, that's the King's Demons, so quite a shame really. But we've got another story in this box set, and that is Planet of Fire, which of course is a two disc set, because we also have the special features and uh, the special edition on uh, disc two. Uh, overall, this front cover is marvellous. You've got the Master and Chameleon on the left, you've got the Doctor and Perry on the right, and you've got this bloke in the middle. And I won't uh, tell you who that is, you'll have to watch this story. And you also have some of the caves from what you see in this story. So overall, pretty damn good front cover. Both front covers in this are really good. Uh, that's the side, so... Again, not much going on there, but we'll just uh, move on very quickly. This was written by Peter Grimwade. Uh, Peter Grimwade, of course, also wrote Time Flight. So, uh, yeah, let, let's just get on with reading this because there's quite a lot to get through here. A strange signal from Earth draws the TARDIS to the island of Lanzarote, where Turlo rescues a young American girl, Perry, from drowning. Among her possessions is an artifact bearing an alien symbol, the same triangular mark that Turlo has branded into his arm. Mystery deepens when Chameleon falls under the control of a powerful mind, and the TARDIS travels to the volcanic world of Sarn. As Turlo is forced to face his past, the Doctor must stop his oldest enemy from harnessing the revitalising powers of the Numina... <sighs> The, you know, I can't say that. I'll just let you read that for yourself. It's just the last two words there. Yeah. So, special features. There's quite a lot to go through here. We have, on disc one, which is the standard edition, 
Commentary by Peter Davison, Nicola Bryant, Mark Strickson, and the director for this story, Fiona Cumming. We have The Flames of Sarn, cast and crew look back at Planet of Fire. We have Return to the Planet of Fire, Fiona Cumming and designer Malcolm Thornton revisit the locations. We have Designs of Sarn, Malcolm Thornton on production design. Deleted and extended scenes, we have BBC Continuity. We have Isolated Score, Radio Times Billings, Production Information, Subtitles, A Photo Gallery, Coming Soon Trailer, which is the same what you'll find on the King's Demons DVD, and a digitally remastered picture and sound quality. <sighs> That's disc one. Okay, disc two, we have the special edition. We have a feature length version, which is a totally new edit of the story and widescreen, featuring 5.1 sounds and new CGI effects, overseen with an introduction by original director Fiona Cumming. We have Remembering Anthony Ainley, a tribute to the late actor. And finally, the last special feature on this is Calling the Shots, a look at the story's production. The story was originally broadcast on BBC One between the 23rd of Feb and the 2nd of March 1984. It was produced by John Nathan Turner and directed by Fiona Cumming. The sleeve text was by Sue Corley and once again the cover was by Clayton Hickman. And the runtime for this was... 166 minutes. Right. Okay, I thought it was 90, but... Oh well. I guess they might be including the special features, I don't know. Because it's uh, only four parts long, but maybe it's because of all the extension and all that, I don't know. So uh, that's your leaflet. Dusk is uh, disc one, the four part version, the way it was broadcast originally. And this is disc two, the special edition. And there you've just got the same image of the front cover, but it's just a different colour, so yeah. That's red or orange, and uh, all the colours here are just basically inverted. The flame is uh, the right colour, whereas this is, is blue. But anyway, there's a lot of content on this uh, DVD, and is it worth it? Well, it's not exactly a story what I'd immediately jump to and say, oh yeah, definitely, give that a special edition and all of that. It was the same thing with Enlightenment as well, and Enlightenment, yeah, I didn't like that story. But this story, I like it, right? This is absolutely the better out of the two, so is there any reason to get this barring special features, it is definitely because of Planet of Fire. It is a great penultimate story for The Fifth Doctor and quite a decent debut for Perry Brown. And overall, it's it's good, yeah. There's not that much to say. Obviously, I will say there are a few things that are quite ridiculous, like the whole bikini scene and all that. There's a few infamous scenes from this and all of that. And there's a bit of directing here and there by a few people. Anthony Ailey is in this and he gives one of his best performances as the master. He's absolutely amazing in this story. And Peter Davison actually, he gives one of his best performances as the Fifth Doctor as well. So it's quite refreshing really, uh, this story, because there's quite a few Peter Davison stories and this isn't a knock on Peter Davison himself or the Fifth Doctor as a character. But I just feel like his era... There was a few stories that were just so forgettable, but this I thought was quite a bit of a standout, especially towards the end of his era. So overall, the story is pretty good, and there's, this is jam-packed with special features, as I'm sure you're pretty aware with everything I read out. And the special features are worth looking at as well. So overall, Planet of Fire, it gets my seal of approval. Much, much better than... The other story in this set, The King's Demons. Chameleon's in this as well. Yeah, Chameleon, he's probably one of the worst things about this story. But ignoring that, ignoring all of that, this story overall is pretty decent. Not spectacular, but for what it's worth, this is worth getting a set for. So there, that's uh, Planet of Fire. I'm quite alright with that story. 
overall, would I recommend this box set? For Planet of Fire, yes. For the King's Demons, no. Uh, it's, it's a really funny one, this. I've got mixed feelings on this box set because the King's Demons I don't like, whereas Planet of Fire I do quite like. And the special features are quite jam-packed, really. Uh, so, I guess it's up to you. If you're a real big fan of the Fifth Doctor era, then I'd say definitely get it. And and if you're like one of the very few fans, I say that, there might be quite a lot of fans. If you're one of the very few fans of uh, Chameleon, then yeah, absolutely get this. It totally makes sense why they did make this box set. And... Uh, that's all I've got to say, really. So that's my DVD review. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I shall see you in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. See you later.